morning, Dolphins. Today is Wednesday, February 23rd. My name is Manasvi, and welcome to today's edition of the Dolphin Morning News. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. We will now pause for a brief moment of quiet reflection. During the moment of quiet reflection, remember our school-wide expectations. Rule two is please and thank you. We always use kind words. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 49 degrees. This, there is a 34% chance of rain. It looks like it's gonna be going to be a good idea to wear your rain jacket. Have fun inside or out. Your lunch choices for today are Salisbury steak with roll, chicken filet sandwich, and hummus beto box. Your side choices are baby carrots and mashed potatoes. Today is National Dog Biscuit Day. If you own a dog, make sure to give them a biscuit and a nice moving bath massage. This month is also Black History Month. Watch this short clip about Muhammad Ali. It's also Chick-fil-A's birthday. In 1954, a boy from Kentucky had his bicycle stolen. Seeing him angry, a police officer suggested that in order to beat the thief, he'd better learn how to fight, specifically how to box. Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. took this advice to heart. Art, debuting in October of 1960 and winning 19 straight boxing matches by the end of 1963. Clay had a way with words, and like any good fighter, he was phenomenal at insults. In 1964, he faced off against Sonny Liston, the reigning heavyweight champion, and played on his opponent's name for a few choice verses. Who would have thought when they came to fight that they'd witness the launching of a human satellite? Yes, the crowd did not dream when they lay down their money, that they would see a total eclipse of the sun. Of course, Clay would make good on his promise and successfully took the title of heavyweight champion of the world in one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. But Clay's fights weren't only in the ring. Shortly after winning the title, he joined the Nation of Islam and changed his name to the now world-renowned Muhammad Ali. In 66, he refused to be drafted into the Vietnam War particularly due to America's treatment of African Americans at home. In retaliation, he was denied his boxing license and could not compete. Ali continued to inspire others and fight for civil rights, even after his license was reinstated four years later. In 1974's Rumble in the Jungle, he regained the heavyweight title from George Foreman, proving that he was indeed Teachers, as you take pictures of students learning, make sure to tweet them out with, with at Dolphin and Yes. That's it for the Dolphin News Watch today, Dolphins. Have a wacky Wednesday. Bye.